Hey guys, in this lesson, we are going to introduce you MasterPy PC software, its function and how to use it. Firstly, double-click the PC software to execute it. Now, you can see that is the interface of the default mode. That is the mode for controlling the robotic arm. Camera tool is another mode, which can be used to add color recognized by the camera and set the color threshold. If you want to learn about how to operate, you can refer to the corresponding file in the provided tutorial. I will mainly introduce you the normal mode in this lesson. Let's look at the interface distribution. Let's divide it into four parts, which are servo control area, action data list, action group setting area, and deviation adjustment area. The servo control area is used to control the servo to rotate. There are 10 sliders in total, corresponding to the 5 servos in the robotic arm. Firstly, click Reset Servo, then you can start to click the slider to program the action. Do not drag the slider too fast and observe the current state of the robotic arm. There is a tip for you. Click the slider with left mouse and then roll the mouse. In this way, you can adjust the value slightly. Generally, action group contains several actions. After programming an action, click Add Action. Then you can program the next action. Now, we have programmed and add several actions. If you want to modify the action that has been programmed, you can click the black triangle in front of the corresponding action to execute the action once. Then drag the left slider or directly modify the value under the slider. Then click update action. In addition, you can also directly modify the value of the corresponding servo in the servo data list. Now, let's look at the buttons in the action setting area. Running time is the time for running a single action, and you can click it to modify. Delete action is to delete the selected action in the action data list. Delete O is to delete all the actions in action data list. Please use them carefully. Insert action is to insert a line of action in front of the selected action. Move up and move down can be used to adjust the position of the action. After programming the actions, click Run to run it. Please know that it will run the action group starting from the number 2 actions. Therefore, you need to click the black triangle icon in front of the number 1 action and then click Run to run the entire action group. If check loop button, the action will be executed repeatedly. You'd better save the action for future debugging. Click Save Action File to save the action group. Let's recommend it to name the action in English. Please note that all the action group must be stored in the action group file category. Otherwise, the action group cannot be called. Click Open Action File to track the programmed action and modify it. Integrate Action File will be explained in the following lesson. Click Erase button to delete the current Action Group file. Click All Erase to delete all Action Group's files and cannot be restored. Finally, let's look at the Deviation Adjustment Area. This is used to address the servo deviation. Click Reset Servo to restore all the servo to the initial posture. Okay, this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching.